In a previous video I showed how I made the internal parts of the head to make the eyes stare. Now normally to activate that I would um, use a mechanism like in the, me in the an animation here um, and also as seen in the little boy in the, A Trip to the Doctors. Now in this case being an animatronic there isn't a given cycle and so that would have made quite a complicated mechanism. So I was a little bit stuck until I came up with quite a simple idea that doesn't need any cams at all. What I'm going to do, I'll show you uh, the parts I had to make and show you how I made them, give you some insights into that. If you want to skip that bit, go to this timestamp here and uh, then I'll show you how I put it together and at the end we'll have the grand switch on and we'll see why it's called a private conversation. You'll notice it was fairly cold in the workshop when I was doing some of the putting together, hence I was rather dressed up. But anyway, let's get on with it. Here I'm cutting the um, brass uh, actuators linkages out on the, the Siege KX3 uh, CNC milling machine. I could use a hacksaw and a file, but uh, since I've got this machine, it's a lot easier. A uh, three millimeter brass plate. I'm just unscrewing it from the uh, holding plate now. As you can see, I've cut two out. Just need to free the tabs which are holding them onto the original plate. And they come off now fairly rough edged, and the tabs have to come off, so I usually just do it with a uh, little hand band sander. Used to do it with a file but I find it's just a lot easier and it gets as good a result with this little sander. Nice and uh, shiny and smooth now. Um, also the uh, the anchorage that goes into the upper part of the head, I'd already made some of those so I just found a couple and here I am just smoothing them uh, down again. This is from uh, 1.2, 1.5 millimeter brass uh, plate again, brass sheet I suppose you'd call it in this case. Now I need to drill the holes. First I punch them, otherwise the drill just wanders all over the shop. So uh, a little uh, punch, hit it with a hammer, and you get a nice little hole to start the uh, drill plate. Then I made this little hole, I think you can buy them as well, but I made this uh, Again, on the uh, on the siege mill, I made this little holding device, which is really useful, quite difficult to actually hold the bits without this. You can get a really tight uh, hold on it, and there's a little hole underneath for the drill to go through. Putting it on a, a Proxon pillar drill here, There's a small one, just the job for the job. 1.2, 1.3 millimetre hole here, and it goes. And, uh, Soon done. Unscrew it. It's a double screw, so you get a really tight uh, hold on. Here I am uh, doing the same with the little anchorage pin as well. It's got nice holes there. Right now, look at that. Let's look at the pin that holds the um, the actuation rod on. Uh, here, using a uh, Proxon 250 lathe, small lathe, very handy for this sort of thing. And lift it on and off the workshop table using six millimeter brass rod. Here we are drilling a two 2.1 millimeter hole in it. In the end, this is to make the top of the pin. I used to make the pins out of the six mil uh, brass rod, but it was very wasteful. So I now I use the two mil or a three mil uh, length of round brass and just cut it off. I just hammered the end off to make it a tighter fit. I uh, hammered it in, as you'll see in a moment, and then uh, super glue them, just using a little disc sander there to, uh, to smooth the edges off. Now I'm hammering the, uh, the pin into that uh, disc that I cut. There we are, just sit snug. And now a little bit of uh, glue with a micro tip. Just let that seep in and then sand it off again on the, uh, the small disc sander and it makes a nice job of it. And uh, now we're going to make finally the washer, the standoff. I make this out of uh, ETFE 
2.1 mil hole again, but it's pretty easily in this one. And then just cut it off. Very handy little uh, changeable tool head there, it makes the whole job a lot quicker. Right, now we've got all the parts made, we can fit them together. What need, we need to happen is when this turns round, this pin hits and moves up and then pushes a uh, pushes this up. So first of all we need to secure this inside this neck. Good, so put that in there. That comes round and it pushes it up. What I'm going to do is glue that in place because it's actually quite loose. Good. Now that wants to come straight up to here, so now we need to put the pin into this. It's about there, I reckon. So, yeah, I think 1.5 was too small. Try 1.8. Good, seems to work. Far too long, of course. So we need to take it out again. Fairly easily remedied. Just drop it off. Excellent. Now that we just need to get a wire, bend it round. I'll just file that. Right. See how we go. And it's surprisingly tough this for one millimetre wire. Right, so now we have the mechanism, so we need a pin now to come up here so that when the head turns around, the eye pushes up the marker. Let's 
see where it needs to be. I think we'll put it there. So difficult to drill in there. This is where it's quite an advantage to not having screwed the head on. Well, I can't say it's easy to get it off. I think I'll just have to come in here at a bit of an angle. Good deep hole because it needs to hold quite well. Just need to find a wire of the right size now. This right, but get that. So nicely does it. fairly simple mechanism without the need for any more any more cams of course the only time it needs to stare is when it's pointed straight forward and the only time it points straight forward is when it stares so it does the job so talk away and then when it stares the eyes come out I remember going to deliver one of these once and there's a group of people and I came to switch it on. And there was a gasp because nothing happened. And then suddenly it burst into life and there was a sigh of relief. Uh, of course there's a red button on the front there and uh, the program allows uh, half a minute for you to press it and if you press it it changes the programming and now finally i'll show you uh, why i called it a private conversation <laughs>